Oh my gosh. Ambush. To protect you. He did job well. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your bro Benzo. We're going to continue with some more Shadow of War gameplay. We're going to also put in a skill. We just gained a skill point here. There's a bird of prey. It's also nice. There we go. This is the one I've been waiting for. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. So let's see if I'm right. If I finally got what I want. Now there's a bunch of them right together. I don't know. Nah, let's not mess with that right there. And I don't want to get too distracted. But let's go into the quest line so we can continue on leveling. So let's go ahead and go to this. Let's go right there. We'll go to Shaylob's memory real fast. Collect that since it's uh, pretty close by. Oh wait, here's a here's an actual captain right there. Ah, Mooga. Let's kill this captain. Actually, we don't want to kill him, sorry. We want to dominate them. So let's go ahead and dominate him, but let's go ahead and Oh, you want some? Oh, he already saw me. Target practice, Grave Walker. Why do my enemies never realize this? I don't miss. Yet they still try to hide and dodge. You're all fools! Now, once again, we can also summon... Oh my gosh. Ambush. That was one of my guys. Oh, that was... Okay, hold on. Now, he's bleeding, so hold on a second. There we go. Okay, now that's that's my bodyguard right there. I was wondering where he was. <laughs> okay, so he's protecting me a little bit. Now that bodyguard is a ca captain as well. But I kind of want to get this guy as well. So we are going to recruit this guy. We're going to break him. Okay, let's dominate him. There we go. Okay, we want to dominate him. It's damn straight, I'm your master. We're going to leave him here so he can help fight. And then there is this guy right here. Perfect. Oh, he's pissed. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're just about to break him. Okay, he's broken. We're gonna dominate him. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Let's see if I can dominate him here. There we go. He is mine. So now we have four captains. We're gonna, we're gonna keep him here so he can fight with me. That means he's going to kill anybody that gets in my way. See all this? I got three captains fighting for me right now. Just, he's enraged right here. So he's going to keep fighting. Alright, there's a Kurgor. I can also... Here, get back over your Kurgor. And see, now he's mine. So you can see how... You can see how powerful he's become. Nice. Yeah, if they start bleeding, I can uh, actually heal them. Why is he shooting my guy? Looked like he was shooting my Karagor. Very strange. 
He's fighting, he's shooting at somebody down here. Oh, here he comes. This guy right there. There's an extra gem. Alright, and then here is Sheila's memory. Let's keep going. And eventually we'll take over that fortress. Where's, where's it going to be at? Way up there? Let's see, how do I get up there? It's not good. Notice my bodyguard following me around. I don't think I can get up there right now. Oh, wait a sec. Here we go. Here I can climb up here. Alright, boss. You got yourself another hanger on, have ya? You? You'll have a proper army in no time. But you gotta remember, an army needs orders to follow. And I'll tell you what's always a popular one. Murder! Command that new follower of yours to gut some bugger you don't like, and that'll free you up to gut somebody else at the same time. And remember to keep the target's weaknesses in mind. If he's terrified of fire, there's nothing funnier than sending someone to clobber him with a fire weapon. Oh, that's proper music, that is. Okay, so he's actually giving you sort of a tutorial as well, so we can go to the army menu, command the follower to target an, uh, to kill an enemy captain so we'll do that and let's go to our army menu highlight a follower let's see let's highlight this guy right here he's the one that ambushed me a second ago let's highlight him and and let's have him kill this unknown captain we don't know who this captain is so let's have him kill him so he's gonna raid the enemy's captain's camp all right this is all part of the nemesis system And then this guy right here, I think I can command him too. Uh, actually, he's my. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, with this. Okay, this is who he's going to try to attack right there. So I'll tell you what, let's go. Let's mark this guy right here for a target because I may have to help, actually help him out too. Okay, let's get back on our Karagor. And Shaylod's memory is just going to have to wait. Seems more fun anyway. Get out of here. We'll help uh, this one of our captains here out. Right, Lord. That bloke you recruited is a sneaky bastard. He'd make a top backstabber. What you want to do is to make him bodyguard to a war chief. So you can, well, stab him in the back. Oh, Course, okay. No war chief's gonna take on a bodyguard unless he's proved himself. And the place to do that is in the fight pits. How does surviving a few rounds make you trustworthy? No idea. But it's a bloody good laugh. And you'd be a drongo to trust an orc anyway. So it all works out. Go on, have a go. I like Bruce. He's pretty cool. So, infiltrate the spies. I uh, see the uh, war troops use the fighting pits to uh, for a, as a ritual for uh, selecting their bodyguards. Command a follower to infiltrate a war chief as a bodyguard by proving himself in the war pits. He will portray his master the next time you encounter him stabbing the war chief in the back. That's always nice. Okay, so let's have him go. Oh, let's see. I wonder if I can command Pash the Beast Tamer. He's not, he's not really one of my favorites, to be honest. Because I can't really command Bruce anywhere. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's try to see if we can command him. Pa. Yeah, so we'll, we'll remove him as bodyguard. And have him, let's see here. Can I move this up a little bit? Yeah, let's infiltrate this guy. Okay, to become a spy by proving his worth in the fight pits. Okay, we're going to go ahead and have him just prove his worth in the fight pits. Your follower must survive the fight pits before becoming a spy. Alright. Let's see if he does it. And then, uh, once again, we're going to try to... Man, his health is already low. I wonder if there's... Here, let's do this. I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to do this anyway. 
Okay, I'm gonna heal him up here in just a second. Oh, betrayal. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Nope, come back. He gets, did you see that? He got pissed off. So we're, well, I want to recruit him. The reason why... And the reason why I was hitting him to begin with is I wanted to bleed him out so that I could heal him, but I can't heal him any other way. So we're going to recruit him. Oh, what? What the hell? I thought that I recruited him. Why is he orange? What the hell, man? Is it bugged out? I think I discovered a bug here. See, it's kind of weird. It's almost like... Okay, let's go ahead and recruit him again. Oh, I cannot recruit him. That's the problem. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead and fight to the death. Of course, I can always shame him, but we'll shame him later. Let's just kill this guy. Piss off. Loyalty don't matter, eh? Well, the grave walkers gotta keep killing. Yes, I do, actually. And I wanted a different guy anyway. Ooh. Well, you weren't really that loyal there, buddy. I think this one fancied himself a ranger. Or a tracker. <laughs> Mordor's equivalent. Subtract your you. You! What? My blood brother sends just one word from beyond the grave. Revenge! Revenge? Okay. He looks like a good person to recruit. Now, notice he's... He, oh, that, my card work took care of him, too. Notice he's two levels above me, so I cannot recruit him. So I'm gonna have to reduce his level. So I'm gonna have to shame him first, and then I'll recruit him later. Okay, and then I'm going to have to shame him. You can see I can't recruit him, unfortunately. Okay, you can see you cannot recruit this captain. That's okay. I'll shame him first. I'll get him later. Okay, he's a little deranged. That's all right. Now, back to the original quest. Okay. Caragor's taking care of business, and let's go ahead and raid this camp real fast. Now, our guy's to the left. This guy's to the right. Now, notice they're both level 12. We can recruit this guy, this strangler. We'll help our guy out a little bit. Made good time setting up. Might double the grog ration tonight. Here's our guy. They do not know we are here. They know soon. Okay, so once again, we want to make sure that our guy survives. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh no, arrow proof. For me? You shouldn't have. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, our guy should take care of some of this business. But I'm gonna make sure. I wanna make sure that he wins. Oh no, did I actually kill him? Oh shit. <laughs> I guess he is susceptible to stealth. Oh well. That's alright. We gotta get rid of some of these orcs anyway. These. These other guys. Forgot what they're called. We got a skill point with that anyway. 
There's my guy. Tearing ass. Everybody in blue is my guy. Oh man, Karagor is uh, eating one of my guys. I'm gonna break this Karagor so I can recruit it. Okay, now I can recruit it. There we go. All right. Karagor can eat him alive. Let's like unlock another skill. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna purchase this right here. This is a uh, called retaliation. Time your last chance successfully, per uh, perfectly to instantly kill the enemy target. That's always a nice thing. That thing's coming handy. And we are level 17, leveling up pretty nice. And uh, one little thing we want to do is go back to our quest line and see if there's anything that we can do here. That we may have to go into Shalob. Yes, uh, there's a lot of things we can do. Uh, it's community challenge there. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go into... Let's go ahead and go to Shalob's memory. I think I know how to get up there now. We're going to keep on going. Now these things can jump all the way up here if I wanted to. I love the, the mobility. You gotta love that. I love how you can just keep on going. She loves some memories gonna be right in here. Yeah. My beast is hungry. Okay, we'll get a she love memory. You must be willing to destroy everything that has come before you. Even the memory of it must be purged. Do not think of what is lost. Think only of what will be. This is the story the Dark Lord tells himself. This is the story that will bring an end to Middle Earth. There we go. You know, once again, this is just a partial memory. She learned from Sauron as I did. She survived him as I did. Then there is wisdom in these words. Okay, once again, these are lost artifacts. We're not going to really listen to all of these. It just takes up too much of the episode's time. I've never seen a map of Gondor so detailed. Yet look at how little your people know of other lands. Ah. There we go. Okay, and now we hit this thing. And now watch this. I'm going to dominate both of them. Okay. There we go. Now both of them are mine. Then we'll get a lot. We can get around Gondor a lot easier. Now I think I might be able to. Yeah, let's take over this tower, but uh, we're getting really close to the end of the episode here. Here, let's take over. Let's get this. I want to get. I want to get this warm worm right here. Let's get this worm. Okay, let's see who we're dealing with here. This is a war chief right there. Akbar Tasty. I think we're gonna have to go on a actual war chief hunt pretty soon, guys. Whoa! Oh, man! Uh, 
We'll make him ours. Now, once again, everybody in blue is mine. Not many blue around me. And they will keep firing. These guys are pretty deadly, so let's take them out now. Oh, it's already broken. There we go. Let's hit this. We'll break this Karagor too. Now pretty soon I can actually dominate them a lot easier. You may find that a little kind of weird the way I do it like that, but later on I can just point an arrow at it and dominate it that way. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. I'm trying to keep the episodes between 20 and 30 minutes long, not too long, so that way you can continue on with the playlist. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Take care, guys. Later. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.